from you? Well, what do they want you to do? Okay. Well, they want me to act as fairly normally as I can. Uh, I, I I believe the perp could make me look totally crazy and have me be totally crazy and locked up for the rest of my life if they wanted me in that situation. But because they've been following me for 47 years covertly with all these normal interactions with employers, and well, mostly normal um, employers, parents, uh, siblings, um, that they want me to have a relatively normal life. And one of the things that became evident to me, not, as I mentioned, was it was about mind control. And it was only when they started putting on gang stalkers only I would have known about, and none of my family or, or ex-wife would have known about, that I realized this went back deeper. And then slowly but surely they sort of put gang stalkers at the section of the grocery store where I wanted to go, when in fact I had no list and I only remembered the very few items in mind. And I mean, I don't normally buy milk, but I need to buy some, which it takes off ink stains. And so I go to the milk section and there's the, the two of the staff already there, sort of hanging around, or when we do their pretend stocking and things like that, you know, as in putting groceries in. The hand. But, uh, and I thought, well, how did this guy end up here? You know, when I, this item was only in mind. And so mind control is, I think, maybe 25 to 50% of what they're looking for. And they made progressive, um, well, changes to my behaviors and what I remember over the last five years now. Yeah, it's five and a half of overt harassment. So, you know, I could remember some things. I, you know, just today, uh, when I went and picked up a CD from my short, shortened stack of them, I got the wrong one. So what they had done, and I've never experienced this before, was they were able to have me forget something in, in very short-term memory, you know, seconds ago, and have me go to the wrong, pick the wrong CD out. So, that, you know, it used to be they could mess with my long-term memory and people's faces I would remember from long ago. But over the past year, they've been a progressively getting to short-term memory and down to seconds ago, as I just learned today. So uh, mind control, 25% up to 50% of what they're after, and they're not, they're close to 100%, but I reckon within six months it will be total. Short-term memory is often affected by electromagnetic weaponry, and so is long-term. I mean, it's the, the effects can be devastating and permanent, and even lethal, in my opinion, if they really wanted to turn up that frequency. How, are the, how has it changed you, besides affecting your short-term memory? Has your personality changed? Are there things about you that have changed uh, from 10 years ago, let's say, that you liked to do it one time, but now all of a sudden you have no interest in doing it. Uh, have they changed who you are? Uh, in many respects, they have changed my uh, patterns of behavior to suit their objectives. Um, I used to work out every day, and now it's down to uh, twice a week uh, class, gym class, with and then a, a yoga session so three times a week. They won't let me run. They won't let me swim. I used to swim three times a week. Uh, with a club, and you know, it was a vigorous workout. Um, they didn't let me do that. They won't let me do that. I was actually swimming. When I came back here, I was swimming for a while because I had gang stalkers all around me. But I swam anyways, and then they, they made me panic one time in the pool. And then I said, oh, yeah, this is it. The swimming is over. And so when I went back to the change room, look, six to eight of the gangs, male gang stalkers were lined up outside the men's change room, and I went by them. I mean, that takes serious coordination to know exactly when I was going to go there and to have their their operatives just standing there in, in a file, like like equal, equal space. Um, so they won't let me even run at the gym on a treadmill. They won't let me either. Why do you think they won't let you do that? Because they, will, they stop me from doing that, too. 
I used to they used to I used to do a lot of hiking when I had my vehicle mm -hmm. and go for two to three hours and of course mm -hmm. that's ended with my vehicle being given away to my daughter and and when I got back from hiking they were pummeling with me with this intense bombardment of energy you know, I could sense it I couldn't really see it it was coming off the PC uh, screen and what I felt was then that exercise will cause you to dissipate energy. And because they're pumping me and us with energy, they don't want, and they can't put someone beside me walking, or they don't want to. Uh, so they can't read me for the three hours that I'm in the, on the trail. So then they had to sort of group talk me up when I came back with an intense bombardment. So exercise, as I, in my theory, is that exercise causes the victim to dissipate energy and that the herbs want to irradiate us and have us at a higher energy, energy content. And it, you can call it uh, bioelectromagnetic for now. I think there's more to it than that. I, I don't know a lot about the technology or what they're, what they're doing to me in, in, in technical. What are you doing to counteract this terrorism? And I call it terrorism because it is global. It's uh, spreading rapidly. And there seem to be operatives everywhere. And this is a form of har harassment and terrorism. It's taking down our way of life. It's preventing a lot of people from working, from maintaining their families. It's undermining our um, way of life totally. You know, weakening, yeah. weakening our country and every country, I think, you know, by not allowing people to function the way we should. How are you combating this? Well, um, first, just to mention about our quality of life. Yes, I'm on a disability, so I uh, have a lot of time on my hands. And, and even in past as an employee, there would be these odd stretches of nothing to do. And, and it seems to me that perps like me to do nothing much a lot of the time. Um, I used to use magnet. In fact, I don't use anything to counteract it now because basically they'll just trash what I've done or they have a way around it. And now that I realize the mind control component is there, I don't know if I'm really doing their bidding or not. And of course, I don't have the financial resources to invest in much uh, counter in countermeasures. I'll mention a few things that I think would be useful and also some things that were stolen or ruined you know, by the perps in my early days of harassment in 2002. Uh, they have small neodymium magnets, a quarter inch size, very powerful, and they're, very, they're relatively powerful magnets for their size. It seems that the perps constantly would de-gauss them, like reduce their magnetism. And so if you can flip those around in your hands, I had immediate relief from the, the head pain bombardment. Um, the the electromagnetic uh, shielding clothing you can get from lessemf.com. I believe they're still on the web. What is that? Um, what is that website? Less L and then EMF all one word. Mm -hmm. Dot com. And they have shielding shirts and hats. And I bought um, a shielding hat, and it uh, you know, was stolen within a few days. So I figured, OK, I'll get another one, because these things are good. And I got another hat, and then it came without the shielding uh, cloth, because it looks like cotton, but it's got these uh, silver threads in it, or stainless steel threads, I think is what they are. And so they pulled the fabric out of the and then the third time, the hat was uh, also came without its, uh, I think it got stolen too, so I bought a third time, and it came without the protective cloth again, to, you know, to put a liner in it that wasn't the right cloth. And so what I did was I sprayed, I got some metal, uh, you can get mag magnetic shielding in a spray can, mm -hmm. and I sprayed it in the inside of the hat, mm -hmm. and that worked. Mm -hmm. And then what they did was they picked off all the metal from the inside of the hat remotely. Mm -hmm. So that was the end of that. Well, anything to keep you from protecting yourself, they want ultimate control. And, you know, they want control of your, your brain and your life. Well, they are 
succeeding, I hate to tell you. Um, there, I mentioned a few other things. Uh, 